Today we're going to be covering the fourth and final area of our four-part video series on rider position. If you haven't checked out the other videos, you can check them out in the link below. If you've made it this far with me through all of these videos, I really hope they've been a help to you. And I'm excited to share this final one with you, so let's jump into it. So the final area that we're going to be talking about is our arms and our hands. This is an area that really plays a key role in our balance. When our arms are out of balance, it can really throw the rest of our body out of position. So let me show you that. So if I've got my elbows bent here, my shoulder blades down, thumbs up and wrists in, this is correct position of my arms and my hands. Now, if my arms and my hands were to go forward like this, I were to straighten my wrist and bring my arms out, you can see how that changes the position of my shoulder and is gonna pull my whole center of gravity forward. Same thing if I were to bow them out like this. It's gonna change my upper body position and it's going to throw me out of balance so I'm not sitting as centered over the horse's back. So how do we find that correct position? Well, you wanna make sure that you relax your shoulder blades down like we talked about. You wanna bend your elbows and you wanna have your thumbs up. You're holding your rein between your thumb and your pointer finger if you're holding two reins and you are turning your wrist slightly in like this. When we're doing this, we're engaging in our lats here and our obliques are helping to stabilize our body here. And we're also feeling the support in the back of our arm. Now, if you're struggling a lot with keeping a quiet, stable hand position, it's often because your base support isn't very good. So strengthening those abdominals and strengthening your back can really play a big role in keeping your hands more quiet and more stable. So a couple tips to help you out with this. The first one is in your hand position here, and that is to put a whip between your thumbs like this, and that helps you to be able to keep your hands level so you're not having one rein that's going down and throwing your shoulders off balance. So keeping your hands level like this is gonna help you to stay more centered in the saddle and help you to work with the horse's motion better. And then the other tip that has really helped me is to always imagine that you're pushing away towards your horse's head when you're riding with the reins. So instead of holding the reins like this, where I have kind of a backward intention, I always want to imagine dropping and riding towards my hands like this. So I'm always riding out to my hands and that's going to help me to be able to have looser, more drop shoulders that can follow the motion of the horse. And it's going to help me to be able to not accidentally be pulling on my horse as I'm riding her in contact. So I hope these tips are a help to you. If you're working on your rider position, let me know in the comments below which one of these tips was really a help to you and uh, what you're struggling on in your position right now. I hope you have a wonderful week. You keep enjoying your horses and I'll see you in the next video.